Hello pilots. Today I'm flying the South African Gripen C from the British Tech Tree. This jet has a unique play style compared to the Swedish and Italian Gripens, thanks to a missile that allows for a much more aggressive approach with less emphasis on long-range engagements. That missile is the R Darter, an extremely lightweight and agile weapon. Personally, this is for me the most enjoyable Gripen to fly, offering a complete package that makes it a true pleasure in the skies. Now let's see what this little beast can do. I decided to play passively at medium altitude. The first encounter is with this F-15. He maintained a solid defensive stance when he saw me, but ultimately made the mistake of turning too soon. He could have held his notch position until I passed. Now, with all these clouds, I'll stay high to avoid unnecessary focus from enemies and look for an opportunity for the next engagement. Those missiles aren't aimed at me, so I don't need to turn that way immediately. I'll stay focused on the target in front of me. The target is at a bad aspect. I'll wait for the right moment for a good shot. I'm not sure if there are more missiles coming besides the one I saw, so I'll stay ready for defense if needed. I lost a lot of speed defending myself, so I'm going to fly low and point the nose in the direction where I think enemies will be. Since the AMRAMs didn't come from too high, the multipathing helped me stay alive. Now, it's just time to do what the Gripen does best. Below the clouds, I'm much more exposed, so I need to stay alert to my surroundings. I really don't get why most players fall for the Gripen's game. It doesn't have a lot of missiles, and its engine isn't strong enough to recover after defensive moves. Just run and dodge its missiles. Try to keep the fight as far away as you can. With this Gripen, the matches works like this almost every time for high frags. Either you stop fragging to play in a more defensive and safe way, or you take high risks to achieve more accuracy in your shots and engagements. However, most of the time, the risk won't pay off very well. I started the early game the same way as the last match, but this time my team decided to rush in the middle and were all obliterated. Now, I need to apply as much pressure as possible while the advantage is entirely mine. Even with the number of enemies nearby, I don't need to worry too much because I attacked at the exact moment to apply the planned pressure, and at the same time, I can defend myself from almost all if not all, the threats present. At this point, there's nothing more they can do. Close-range chaos is the natural environment for any Gripen.
I find it funny how the one thing that's always common in every match I play with this plane is that at some point you're always forced to get kills with the cannon. Maybe that will change when the Gripen E arrives. He could have simply fired some missiles at me and ended it all. Either this guy had tunnel vision or was trolled by the spotting system. What do you think happened here? Now I'm in a 12v12 match, which gives me much more freedom to play the way this plane is meant to be used. So I'm going to be quite aggressive and fly low. Well, the situation doesn't look good. Many enemies are arriving and I barely have anything left on my pylons. I'll stay in a defensive position and make S-turns to help me with the enemy lines. Well, my enemies underestimated the situation so much that they chose to be stars of the gameplay instead of working as a team. 
They could have easily killed me in a 1v3, but they opted for the hunger for frags. Don't do that. Living with nothing is better than dying with everything. I thought about going aggressive and high to rush a BVR kill, but when I looked around, none of my team's F-15s were climbing. They were all playing passively. That was a clear sign it was going to be a tough match, so I switched to passive play and waited for the furball to form. And well, nailed it! Once again, the pressure on the furball was applied correctly, so I was able to counter all the pressure the enemy team put on mine. If I had missed the timing, the situation could have been much worse. The next two enemies could have easily taken out me and my teammate if they knew how to attack properly, positioning themselves better, and climbing a bit higher so that multipathing wouldn't be as effective when I defended. Literally, both made the same mistake and tried to play solo instead of working as a team, and they paid the price for it. The victory wasn't easy, but it was handed to us on a silver platter. On this map, regardless of the situation, I like to play aggressively because this map was made for BVR planes. Their advantage is truly huge here, so the further you stay away, the worse it will be for you unless you're an F-15 or an F-16. The enemies are all back there behind those mountains. I'll stay here and try to take down anyone who comes out from there.
That's it for the African Gripen. I think it used to be way better. The R darter's gotten pretty nerfed over time, so now you'll be relying mostly on the cannon or IR missiles for kills. If you've found a way to get better results, share what you know in the comments. That's it for me. See you next time. Karma leaving the formation.